Alright guys, welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. This is Joseph from JosephMastery.com and in this episode, we'll be covering the sidebar. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the sidebar is basically um, the right part of, or the right or left part of your uh, web page. Now it consists of widgets, um, videos. You can put different types of widgets, which can include videos, images, or contact information. So without, uh, uh, let's get started. Yeah. Okay. Now the first thing you want to do, we want two sides of the um, page. So there's going to be a content left and it's going to be content right. Now obviously the content right, which will, will, will in this case be the sidebar. Obviously the sidebar is going to, going to be smaller than the content. So when you're um, right before the blog tag, you want to give it a div tag of content left. And what am I doing? We'll take this closing tag and we'll put that the end of the blog, blog tag, so right here. Okay. And underneath that, we're going to make our content right. And here is going to have our sidebar. Now, our sidebar is going to be in a different uh, folder, um, file, I mean, text file. So to reference that, we're going to go use a PHP tag called get sidebar. That simple. So that's what we're going to do for now. Now if we save it and we go to our page. Alright, so it says a get sidebar. Now, at the moment we have this really weird, um, I don't know, it just doesn't look very good and it's not on the right. Now when, when it says get sidebar, because we don't have a sidebar.php, it references to WordPress's default one. So basically, um, and also, let's log in to our thing. Log in. Okay. Now, if we go to appearance and hover over it, it w doesn't say widgets. Usually, it'll say widgets. So basically, at the moment, we can't edit anything. Let's fix that problem. Um, oops, let's go this one. Let's go to our functions.php here. And what we're going to do is we're going to register a sidebar. I'm going to register, whoops, register sidebar. And underneath here, we're going to make an array. So we're going to go register sidebar. And we're going to start our array. Oops. Okay. In this, we're going to go ID. So the first parameter is an ID, and what ID is basically, uh, how do you reference to the sidebar? We're gonna just call this right sidebar. Okay. Then we're gonna call this a name. So this is what it's gonna be called in the uh, graphical interface. I'm gonna call this just uh, right sidebar. Take that. Oops. And then now this part is called before widget. So what's the div tag going to be called? Um, basically, yeah, basically, what's the div tag going to be called? And we want to call ours. Oops. I'm going to give it a div tag and a class of. Wow. Well, oops. The widget. So that's what our class is going to be called for the uh, widget. So, so now this gives us ability to style what's inside each widget and what padding and margin needs. Like that. Okay. There we go. And if you guessed it, we're gonna need an after widget. And in the after widget, we're just gonna do a regular closing tag. Now every widget has a title. So our next one's called before title. Oh what am I doing? My bad. It's meant to be underscore before title. And we're going to point that to just a regular H2. Oops. 
I'm sorry about that. There we go. And once again, off the title. Yeah, this is just the tedious stuff. Don't worry. Won't have much of this. Okay, I guess that's it. Yep. So now if we save that and we go to our website. Refresh the page and go appearance. You can see we've got widgets now. Now however, when we go to our site here. Go to blog. It's still like this. And it's not on the right and even though we've called our sidebar a right sidebar, they're still going to use WordPress's default template. So we're going to make a new file. I'm going to save this as sidebar.php. Okay, save that. And now for this one, it's probably going to be much easier because we're once again just going to reference to the right sidebar we just created. No PHP dynamic sidebar, which means that it can be updated, and we're going to reference to right sidebar, <coughs> and that's it. That's pretty good. That's all we're going to do here, and square style. Now we need to now because at the moment our content left and content right aren't actually right and left they're top and bottom so let's get a comment here and let's call this content right left okay and let's just start the content left okay now in the content left obviously that will be bigger than the content right because that's the main content here so we're gonna make the width 60p uh, percent and we're going to flip that to the left uh, content right make that a width of 35 percent now why not 40 because we want a little margin in between we don't want it to be too close then it wouldn't look that good All right this is my opinion you don't have to follow it but I prefer 35 flip it to the right and let's see how it looks. Uh, oh, whoop! My bad. I just forgot. Um, basically, when you're floating, you need to clear both. Okay, so at the very bottom here, just clear fix. I don't know if I have that cost. Just save that. Now, what the clear fix does, if you know by HTML, um. It basically when you're floating left and right below it, you need to have a clear fix, just because you just need it. <laughs> Not too sure why. So clear both. Save it and there we go. So you can see here we have a right and a left. That's looking really good. And it looks a bit too top. I'm just gonna fix that up. We'll just keep a mar margin top of 20 pixels. And yes, that looks pretty good for the moment. Okay, well, let's style the things. Oh, wait, no, nah, yeah, that's right. You guys might not have this anything there. Um, if you don't, I did this back on off stage. Go to your widgets and just drag in random stuff here. Okay, anyways, let's get styling. So we know that um, the start of our widget is called the widget. And our, our widget, uh, the div tag is the widget. So we can just reference it like this. The widget. And let's style the h2, the title first. All right. Um, we want it to have a little margin. Let's give it a margin of 20 pixels and 0. And the background color, we'll use it the same colors up as our body background. And the color, just a nice white. Font size of 20. And what else should we do? Let's give it some padding. Let's give it 5 pixels and 10 pixels. As well as that, we're going to have a border bottom. 
of two pixels solid nice gray uh, we don't want it to be bold I guess I just want it to be normal what else do we need we can have well let's just see how it looks like oops Mm, looks pretty good, I guess. Now the font, the font you can change. I'll teach you in a later episode how to change a font and how to install fonts. But for now, let's just see how fantasy goes. Oops. Font family fantasy. See how that one looks. Okay, it's a bit squished up. Okay, let us spacing. There we go. Yes, okay. So that's the title. I guess that's it's all right for now. Um the next thing we're going to do is let's style the links or the LIs. Oops. What am I doing? So the links ally and let's just go we want a little bit of a padding so we'll go padding top 15 pixels and we don't want other star let me scroll down let's install the links now in here we, get, we don't want any text decoration because that just looks ugly the color we want it to be the same as the background color again. And a font size of 17 pixels. Save it. That looks much better. It's a bit simple, but it looks decent. What should we do now? Okay, let's add something pretty cool. This just gives it a little bit of, just to make it look a bit better. And we'll do before. So this is just referencing to the list item, and what what we're gonna say before. So I'm just gonna give it a content of. Let's just do this. There we go. I don't know how that will look like. Yeah, so you get, kind of get that feel right there. Yeah, I reckon that looks alright. Um. I guess that's pretty much it the, for like for the basics of the site. Oh, one thing we need to do. Let's just define here that this is the sidebar. And let's just get a background color of a nice light gray, very light gray. Here we go. You can kind of see it. That looks ugly. <laughs> Let me fix this up. Let's give it a padding. 20 pixels. 20 pixels, 0 and 20 pixels. There we go. Yeah, that looks much better. So you can see it's got padding there, there, and there. Okay, now you can see it on the very bottom one because uh, we didn't put a bottom padding because then it'll be too big. So what we can do, one solution, get the widget, oops, and we can use a pseudo element called last of type and give it a padding bottom of 100 pixels. I reckon 100 is good enough. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, one hundred pixels. Yeah, we'll do that just for now. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's um, that's the widget pretty much the sidebar pretty much complete. I reckon it looks alright. Okay, so the last part we're gonna do is to make this responsive. So at the moment, we take this and let's just drag across it, right? See, it's going well because we're using percentages, so it works perfectly fine. But when it gets squished really up, 
it's kind of hard. You can see the widgets left up. Can't even see the whole word categories. And let's fix this up. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to move this to the bottom when it reaches a certain uh, width. Let's go to our media queries. Here we go. Uh, let's just define this. General page layout. Okay. So here, let's just add another breakpoint. And let's go over max width of usually around 600 pixels works fine, especially for this container width. And we're going to be editing the content to right and the content to left. So when that happens, I'm going to go content right width 100 pixels. And just to make sure, we'll just give it an important tag. And content. Content left with 100 pixel percent important. Okay. So now if we refresh the page and we can slowly go down. You can see just like that it goes back. It doesn't um it doesn't go to the right, it just drops down. Just like that. And that just makes it much easier and responsive. Cool. Okay, let's see what we can do now. Okay, so I reckon that's a wrap. In the next episode, I'll teach you guys how to make your footer, um, style it up, and maybe some extra elements. And yeah, so um, I'll see you guys next time. This is Joseph from JustMastery.com. Peace.